Welcome to HortTube, where we talk all things gardening. My name is Jim Putnam, and this is the fourth video in my How to Grow Blueberry series. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to plant them in the ground. I have clay soils in my yard. Uh, I'll go over how you would change what I'm doing if you had a sandier soil or extremely well-draining soil. It's very bright outside today, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but I've already dug this hole right here, and there's the shovel in it. It's probably 12 inches deep and maybe 15, 16 inches wide, but you can see how orange the soil is here. This is all heavy clay. If I had sandier soils, I would be using peat moss mixed in with the sand, but in this clay, I really need to drain some water out of it and the best thing to use, I've got some pine bark soil conditioner here. Um, you can see this material, it's just a ground pine bark that's been aged. And it'll work extremely well in this clay and it also has the acidity that we need. Uh, so either the pine bark if you have clay or the peat moss if you have a sandier soil. Now, the other thing with a sandy soil, I could plant this plant more flush to the ground, meaning that uh, I would end up with the plant maybe just slightly above the grade in this hole. But in this clay, I'm actually gonna mix this bark in to the clay, about 50% clay and 50% pine bark. And I'm actually gonna backfill most of this hole and put it basically almost on top of where the existing grade was and then pull the rest of the soil up around it. The soil in my yard is actually incredibly hard to dig in. Uh, this clay is really nasty. And on top of that off, I actually have rocks in it, um, which the shovel doesn't really like as well. And then down near the bottom, when I get about a foot down, I start to hit this gravelly gray clay that's really, really tough stuff. But I don't have any problem growing things in this yard. I would think that most people would look at this and think it was just too difficult to grow anything, but I don't have any problem growing shrubs and trees in this yard. I just typically will plant above it. I'll take this pine bark soil conditioner, all my soil's laying on the side of this hole, and just pour a very generous amount onto the top of that. Then I'll just blend it together, basically. And I've got some chunks in this clay still, so I'll try to break those down as we go, as I blend this together. Like I say, this would be peat moss mixed with sand if this was a sandier soil. A much easier, much easier process, really. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Some of it's falling back in the hole as I go. I had some roots in here. I'm gonna throw those away over to the side as I go here. And I'm gonna fill this hole almost to the top. What this is gonna do for me, we get a lot of heavy thunderstorms here. We actually get tropical storms here occasionally. And I've created a space underneath this plant where water is gonna be able to drain away from these roots. And I've basically gotten this now to where it's about three inches or so below. This uh, root ball on this one is not very deep. It's in a, this is a three gallon pot, but it's a, we call it a squat pot. It's not the tall three gallon pot. So this root ball is not very deep. Uh, I'll take this and get rid of some of these leaves that were on it from last year. And I'm gonna rough this edge of this up. Like I told you in the video with the uh, container planting blueberries, these have really fibrous root systems and it takes a little bit of effort to break these up a little bit so that these roots will start going outward and stop wrapping around one another. And I'll do that on the bottom as well, all the way around it. So I'm gonna set this here on top of that soil mixture that I put back in the hole. And now I've got it about half in the ground and half above the ground. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the rest of the soil mix and I'm just gonna add it around the edge, all the way around this plant. If there's any more clumps, I'm gonna break those up as I go. And I'm actually just gonna work this soil around and tamp it down with my foot as I go. All 
All right, after I've done that, I always come back and make sure I didn't cover up anything that wasn't covered before. I can still see the top of the root ball from where that plant was in that container. And that's pretty much it on that portion of the process. You'll notice some people will come in and they'll build a little dam around it so that the water will have a place to hold when it rains or when they water it and saturate into the ground. I don't do that. I don't do that on any plants. I might do that if I was in a desert environment or I might do that if I was in a really, really sandy environment like a coastal community. But here, definitely concentrating on letting my woody shrubs and trees, this blueberry is just a woody shrub. It's just, it has a tasty fruit, but it is just a woody shrub and it really needs to dry out between, between rain. So I'm actually creating a situation where I'm shedding water 365 degrees all the way around this plant. The next thing I'm gonna do is uh, throw some fertilizer around this for acid loving plants. Usually I would use a starter fertilizer, but uh, I'm gonna use this holly tone. I'm gonna use a fairly generous amount. You could probably use a cup around this. I had pulled my pine straw back. I use pine straw for mulch in my yard. It's readily available in the middle of North Carolina. And I like the fact that it doesn't hold too much water in place. So that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna put my pine straw back around it. And again, you'll notice after I pine straw it, I'm gonna come back and pull the pine straw away from the base of this plant. The last thing I'll do is I'll drag a water hose over here and I'll put the end of it right at the base of this plant and I'll turn it on just to trickle. And I'm gonna run that water until it saturates the entire area around this plant. I'm just gonna drown this space. And then I'm gonna let it dry out for a prolonged period of time. It may be a week, maybe more, before I come back and readdress it. I'll come back in here and stick my finger down near the base of this thing about two inches. If it's still moist, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone until this area is completely dry again. And then I'll readdress it exactly the same way. I'll drown the space and then let it dry. Okay, so that's basically it. That's planting a blueberry in clay soils, really just above clay soils, and using the pine bark soil conditioner to create drainage. Again, I'd have gone a little bit lower in this hole, still not covering anything up, and I'd have used peat moss instead of pine bark soil conditioner in a well-draining soil. Uh, I don't create any kind of reservoir around it to hold water in place unless I'm in an area where I'm having to constantly irrigate an area that stays dry for six months of the year or something like that. Maybe I would create that reservoir in that situation. Other than that, I'm not doing it. So that's really the basics of planting a blueberry plant and maintaining our acid soil, which is extremely important. Pine bark's very low, has a very low pH. Peat moss would have a very low pH. And I used a fertilizer that has a sulfur component, which will also help me lower the pH. Thanks for watching this video, and if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also, comment below with any other questions you have about planting blueberries. Thanks for watching.